The Deserter is a suspenseful military thriller novel by Nelson DeMille, co-authored with his son Alex DeMille. It centers around the story of Army investigators Scott Brody and Maggie Taylor, who are tasked with locating and arresting Captain Kyle Mercer, an elite Delta Force officer who has deserted his post in Afghanistan. The novel opens with a video of the deserter Mercer being captured by the Taliban, but it later surfaces that Mercer escaped from his captors and has been seen in Caracas, Venezuela. Brody and Taylor, members of the Criminal Investigation Division, CID, are sent on a mission to apprehend Mercer and bring him back to the United States to face military justice. Scott Brody, the seasoned investigator and former homicide detective, is known for his smarts, intuition, and occasional recklessness. His partner, Maggie Taylor, is a by-the-books officer who contrasts with Brody's loose style. Despite these differences, they share a strong dedication to their duties. Their dynamic relationship evolves throughout the story, with hints of underlying tension and possible attraction. In Venezuela, the team quickly becomes immersed in a world of danger and corruption. Caracas is depicted as a city rife with crime, political unrest, and local militias, creating an environment where the law is frequently ignored and violence is commonplace. Brody and Taylor must navigate through this challenging and hostile territory, balancing their official duties with the need to remain undetected by those who may be protecting Mercer or wish to harm them. As the two agents dig deeper into the mystery of Mercer's desertion, Brody becomes increasingly obsessed with understanding Mercer's motive for leaving his post. Through various leads and encounters with locals, the agents discover that there may be more to Mercer's story than initially thought. He's not just a deserter, but possibly a complex character with his own moral code who might have had justifiable reasons for going AWOL. Throughout the novel, there are flashbacks to Mercer's time in the Army and his exceptional service record, including the respect he garnered from his peers, his heroic actions, and his eventual disillusionment with the war in Afghanistan. These flashbacks offer insights into Mercer's state of mind and character, suggesting that his desertion was not an act of cowardice, but possibly one of protest against the war and its toll on soldiers. As Brody and Taylor close in on Mercer, they uncover clues suggesting he may have been involved in activities that went beyond mere desertion. There are hints of a conspiracy involving illegal diamond mines, smuggled goods, and even potential war crimes, all of which paint a broader picture of moral ambiguity and the often blurred lines in conflict zones. Their mission becomes even more dangerous when they realize that they are being followed by a notorious Venezuelan crime lord and his henchmen, as well as battling the local police force, which is not keen on helping Americans. Undeterred, Brody and Taylor press on, utilizing their skills, instincts, and the occasional assistance from unlikely allies they meet along the way. In the gripping climax of the novel, Brody and Taylor finally confront Mercer. The encounter is tense and unpredictable, filled with moral and ethical dilemmas. Mercer explains his reasons for deserting, revealing the crimes he witnessed and the disillusionment he felt towards the Army's mission. His testimony forces Brody and Taylor to question their own beliefs about duty, honor, and justice. The confrontation is complicated by a violent showdown with the Venezuelan criminals and corrupt officials who have their own reasons for wanting Mercer silenced. In a thrilling sequence, Brody and Taylor manage to outsmart and outfight their opponents, but not without facing significant danger and making personal sacrifices. The novel concludes with Brody and Taylor successfully extracting Mercer from Venezuela, but the resolution is bittersweet. They return to the United States with a deeper understanding of the complexities and ethical quandaries of military service and combat. The characters are left to ponder the broader implications of their actions and the ambiguous nature of heroism and treachery in the context of war. While Brody and Taylor's mission is complete, the deserter leaves readers contemplating the often grim realities of war, the personal toll it can take on soldiers, and the challenging decisions faced by those who serve. DeMille's novel is not only an action-packed thriller, but also a nuanced exploration of the psychological impacts of combat, the moral ambiguities of war, and the lengths to which individuals will go to uphold their convictions.
You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.